<laughs> I look like shit. Wow. Hello, welcome to another vlog. I'm really trying to get back into vlogging. I'm really trying to get back into content and uploading. Please help me stick with this. I don't know how you're gonna help me, but <laughs> I am really trying my best. So welcome back to another vlog. Thanks for being here. Genuinely appreciate it because I know I have been an inconsistent person lately, but pray for me. Um, anyway, hello, it is final book support group week and I am trying to do something with this week. So, earlier this year, beginning of this year, maybe end of last year, I don't know, um, I made a video of all of the sequels that I would like to prioritise getting to in 2022. And I looked back at what was in that and realised that I haven't, I haven't done it. I've done more than I thought I had, but I haven't done it. And there are three books left from that video that I haven't got to. So I thought, in the spirit of final book support group, none of these are actually final books, they're all book twos in series, but I will be finishing that video, finishing all the books from that video, and Final Book Support Group is all about helping you get through sequels as well. Like it's all just like series support. So it's going to help me get to the final book eventually, just at the minute they're books two, two, and two. So the books that I need to get to to complete that video and for Final Book Support Group is The Dragon Republic by RF Kuang, Valor by John Gwynn, and The Bone Shard Emperor by, I think it's Andrea Stewart. They're three pretty frickin' chunky books, and I'm gonna give myself a week to try and read all of them. We'll see how I do. I'm gonna start with The Dragon Republic. <coughs> I was gonna say it's the one I'm most excited about, but I think Valor might be the one I'm most excited about. But I'm starting with The Dragon Republic. I've just decided I'm gonna go Dragon Republic, Valor, Bone Shard Emperor. If I manage to finish all three of them, I think it will be a miracle because I don't think that I'm going to do that. It's a weird week for this for me. Um, I will be working Monday to Thursday, but then Friday, Saturday and Sunday I am away. Whether I read whilst I'm away, I probably will. Um, and that trip will be included in this vlog, so you'll see it. I just don't know if I'm going to manage all three, but I really hope that I do. And I also hope that I actually get a decent little vlog out of it, because I really need to get back into vlogging and content creating. I'm trying. You may have seen a couple of vlogs from me lately. Trust me, I'm trying. I will return properly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever expect a schedule. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna crack on with The Dragon Republic. I read The Poppy War, oh my god, maybe like two years ago. So I've read a recap of that so that I feel kind of fresh enough to go into it. Like, I feel like I remember the key points because it's been a while. So I read a recap to fill me in on any blanks. But to be honest, as soon as I started reading the recap, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Like, it is still in there. So I think when I start reading, the flow will come back to me anyway. That's what's happening in this vlog. Also, if you aren't familiar with Final Book Support Group, because I realise I've just been babbling on about that without mentioning what it is, um, the Final Book Support Group is a book club slash readathon slash support group run by Steph from Steph Loves. There's a Discord, there's like, a community of people that support you in getting to final books in series, that's the whole point of it. A few times a year she will do like dedicated readathons to it, but the support group as a whole is like a constant thing. Um, but I obviously will leave stuff linked down below. But yeah, Dragon Republic, let's go. Also, do you like my Udi? It's the Breakfast Buddies Udi. I saw everyone in them and I got jealous, so I bought one. So I'm gonna sit in it and read. Okay, bye. Random update, ignore the state of my kitchen. I got some flowers, kind of accidentally, but aren't they pretty? This is where the, I would show you more of the kitchen, but it, it's a mess. I hate this kitchen, but the main point is I got flowers. Pretty. And what do you think of them, hey? 
What do you think of said flowers? Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, little thin bag. Hello, time for an update. It's been a couple of days. Um, I am still going with the Dragon Republic, but I am just over 400 pages in. Yes, I'm on chapter 23, page 411. So I'm making good progress. I'm about to do some sprints tonight publicly on my channel, unheard of. Um, they are gonna start literally any minute now, so I need to be quick. But I'm hoping I can finish it tonight. I am really enjoying it. Exactly what I said happened, like would happen, happened where I got into the story again. It flowed. I don't know why the dog's crying. Finny boy! So I got straight back into it, fell back into the world and the characters and remembered what was going on and it was fine. Um, Rin, at the beginning of this book, is like not okay. But I'm really liking how her character is like really going on a bit of a roller coaster, lots of ups and downs. She doesn't know up from down, left from right, and we're still getting lots of the like bloody brutality and stuff, which is a weird thing to say, but like I love that. And I'm really enjoying that. Um, and political fantasy is my jam, so it's not like anyone thought I wasn't gonna love this. But I am definitely enjoying it quite a bit. I would probably say I'm enjoying it more than I liked the first one, mainly because school settings aren't necessarily always for me. I enjoyed the second half of the Poppy War more than the first half. So I would say I'm probably enjoying this one a little bit more than I enjoyed the first one. But I'm very excited to see what happens, because where I left it off um, earlier, some something had just happened, and I'm very eager to see what the result of that is, because I don't think it's what they were wanting it to be or expecting it to be. So I'm very fascinated to see how they move forward from what's just happened. So yeah, I'm gonna try and finish this tonight. I will obviously let you know when I have, but so far so good. So yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So <laughs> I've just finished The Dragon Republic. And I don't know what I am supposed to do now. That ending, holy fucking shit. Like the last hundred pages. <sighs> right? <laughs> like, there was. Oh my. Uh, oh my god. I don't know how to summarise my thoughts and feelings. There's not a lot that I can tell you, obviously, because it's the second book in the trilogy. But, like, oh my god. The gruesome brutality had me squirming at points. Loved that. Loved that a lot. The political deceptions. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> what the fuck? What do I do? What do I do? So, I fucking loved this book. I definitely liked it more than I liked The Poppy War, 100%. Um, five stars, abso frickin'-tively, yes, five stars. Those last hundred pages, the rest of the book could have been absolute garbage. Those last hundred pages would redeem anything. Holy shit, it was amazing. Um, but now I don't know what to do, because a massive part of me is like, pick up the Burning God. Just pick up the Burning God, read the Burning God. Fuck your plans for this. You don't need to read Valor, which was my next choice and is sat over here, ready for me. No, 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 Burning God. Read the Burning God. And then I'm thinking, could I read Burning God, Valor and <laughs> Bochard Empress? No, that's never gonna happen. So do I just fuck off the Bone Shard Empress, Emperor? whatever the fuck that book's called. Do I just fuck that one off and read The Burning God and then read Valor? Maybe I could do that. Even though the whole point of this was that I was going to be finishing off the sequels video. That's the whole point. Ah, I don't know what to do. But this, dear God, why did I, why did I not read this sooner? If you have read The Poppy War and have been putting off reading The Dragon Republic, 
Take this from someone who's done the exact same thing. Pull your fucking shit together, friend. Read the book. Damn. Oh my god. It was just so, like, inventive. It was very creative. I really liked a lot of what went on mechanics-wise. Um, the political machinations across the whole country, like, I was very invested and gripped in those alliances, betrayals, and then all of the fucking backstabbing. Literal backstabbing. Mmm. <sighs> so good. And that, oh, I just, yeah. I've been doing reading sprints, and those, like, those last 100 pages, as those last 50 pages especially, being on camera, people, like, seeing my reactions, they were, they were physical. Like, I wanted, I don't know what I wanted to do, because I didn't want to cry, but I almost, like, wanted to vomit. But, like, not, not quite that bad, you know? I don't know what to do. I feel such, <laughs> such a vast range of emotions and I don't know what to do with any of them right now. You will find out what I do in the next clip, I'm sure I'll tell you. But current me in this very moment that you are witnessing does not know what she's gonna do. Stay tuned to find out. Stones. Gavin's just trying to trying to close his bag. Yeah, I've got, I thought a bit too much. Triple points. <laughs> triple points. He got his triple points. Oh, I got yeah, my double points. points because I didn't spend that much. But no. books have been acquired, and we're now going to go to Forbidden Planet. Yay! Um, I'm not realizing this is the first time I've spoken in this vlog since I got it? to yours. I haven't spoken yet. Oh wow. I'm with Gavin. <laughs> yeah, with Gavin. You can't even say anything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I love you. With Gav. I'm staying at his for the weekend. In and we've come out shopping. We kind of chilled out a bit yesterday, ate some good food. Mm -hmm. Had therapy. Oh, well, yeah, yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then today we've been out and had Cheetos, and now we're doing shopping and spending a shit ton of money. And that was beautiful. With my favourite man. My bestie. Oh. My bestie for life. 
I really hit my hands. Oh. <laughs> as bad as getting bit by a Doberman? No. Not that it's complicated. No way near. Let's go to the Forbidden Planet. We have returned. That's a lovely angle. <laughs> it looks like you're eating that thing that's on top of your camera. <laughs> oh, if you guys could see what I could see right now. Hello, hello. Look, there's Ash. There's Ash. It's Mustachio. Mustachio. And Taboo or not Taboo? That is the question. That is the question. We went shopping. Um, oh. I said we were going to... Oh, someone likes the tassel on my camera. I said we were going to... Um, update in Forbidden Planet. I don't know if I said it on camera or not, but we spent a lot of money. Someone spent a lot of money. I still spent a lot of money. Um, but I did say to myself when I got my first paycheck from my new job, I was going to go a little bit nuts. Yeah, and you just said And I well. did go a little bit nuts. So I'm really excited to carry on with more toilet bound Hannah Cokin. I finally got the special, the Savage Song edition. We've got another Christmas middle grade. Because I want to read some Christmas middle grades. I've been dying to start Children of the Whales. So I got volumes one to three of that. Because that was there. Gavin force fed me one piece. <laughs> the only good thing. I... Oh shit, hell. <laughs> <laughs> the only, I was going to say the only good thing in her whole. One Piece. Um, I got the next one in the Pokemon Journeys series and I had been recommended Blue Exorcist, so I got volume one of that as well. Yeah. So, you know what? I did pretty well mm -hmm. and then because it's double points this weekend for Waterstones, I went online and ordered the books that weren't in store and pre-ordered the new Seb book as well, Malevolent Seven. Very excited about that. Of course I am. It's Sebastian de Castell. <laughs> So yeah, and then Gav. Oh, I also gifted you a wolf song by T.J. Quinn. Oh yes, wolf song by T.J. Quinn. It's already mm. in my suitcase. Gav did. Oh yeah, can you see it? This is his damage. That's my haul. But have, did you see what Jade got me for Christmas? Can we show them? If you want, yeah. Look. I Look. got Gavin this chest. This. I was going to say Pokemon chest. This pirate chest. Pirate chest. <laughs> I have a Pokemon yeah. in my brain. Um, it's not One Piece, but it looks like One Piece. Exactly, we're going to make it One Piece. So Gavin's got all of his One Piece volumes down here and stuff, and he's going to put it in some sort of display. Yes. But we spotted it with this adorable mouse thing, actually, oh. that's just there. And, um, yeah, he wanted it, so I got it for him for Christmas. And that way I don't have to post it either, it's already here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm having such a nice time with you. Good. Good. I feel like the best part of the day was the chiquito, to be honest. Oh, yeah, we ate so much chiquito. Mm -hmm. I'm still I full. still have nachos in the bottom of my bag. And I'm just still full. I am still full, but they will come in handy later. Yes. Mm. Zebra. And I've got so many snacks as well, oh my god. Yes. Ooh, those cookie dough bites were mm. so good. Mm -hmm. mm. From M&S, if anyone's wondering. And I don't think I've even told my vlog as well. Sorry, I need to hurry up because we're supposed to be going live. I don't know if I even oh. mentioned in the vlog that I started The Burning God, but I'm like 200 and something pages into it. 207 pages into it. So that's going well. I'll tell you more about that later, but Gavin's just made us live, so the beginning of this live show is me finishing my vlog update and came by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh no! You love it. You love it. Howdy, howdy. Good morning. Howdy, howdy. My, my last morning with Gavar. Aww. Sad Big times. Sad. sad times. Um, I was gonna do an update to let you know that I finished the Burning God, but I've since packed my case and the Burning God is in there, so I'm, I'm not gonna get that back out. Oopsies. Um, but I did finish the Burning God last night, and I had two single tears from either side so it didn't destroy me as much as 
I think I was led to believe. But also, like, I see no other way that that could have ended. So, bitter, bittersweet, not sweet at all, actually. Just the bitter. you made sour. Entire book. Oh. <laughs> what would you like to... Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, oh, ah, uh. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. Things like that. It's a very pleasurable encounter, hey? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely loved it. Five stars. Although was not my plan for Final Book Support Group to finish the Poppy War trilogy, is what ended up happening. And I still have a train journey home today, so I don't know if I'm going to pick up Valor or if I'm going to read some Toilet Bound Hanakokan to just like let myself chillax from the big epics for a bit. I bought the toilet. I don't want to like kill it. No. So I've got a couple of volumes of Toilet Bound in my bag and Valor in case, I mean regardless it wouldn't fit in the case there. <laughs> um, but yeah, say goodbye to Gav I guess. Bye! I don't think you can see me, bye! <laughs> <laughs>
and volume three, which now means I need to get more Toilet Bound to read because I'm really enjoying this manga. I can't remember who it was that recommended it to me, but thank you because I'm really enjoying it. It's weirdly chaotic, very strange in places. Finn, don't eat my hoodie. Finn, stop. Um, chaotic, odd, weird, but also like just really intriguing and action packed. Sorry, the uh, football's starting on the screen and that's reflecting and flashing in my face. So I will wrap this up. Um, I'm really enjoying this series, probably give them like four stars-ish, um, but I desperately want to read some more. It's about a young girl who summons Hanakokun from a toilet because he's a ghost and one of the school's seven mysteries. And as she's now his human companion, she starts to learn more about the other seven mysteries of the school and all of the paranormal, supernatural things that happen in this school and that live at this school. Um, action packed. There's a guy who wants to exercise the ghost and paranormals. Um, it's good fun. I, I really like it. It's good fun. And I need to read more of it because, yeah, I now don't have any volumes that I haven't read, despite the fact that I only purchased both of those over the weekend as well. But there we go. There is my complete reading for the final book support group. I ended up finishing four books, two chunky, two not so chunky, so calling that a win. Um, but yeah, I had a really good time. I had a great time with Gavin and a great week of reading. And I had a vlog. Here. I actually filmed a vlog and finished it. So, winner for that too. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chatting me down below, all that good stuff. I hate saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you in whatever comes next.